Good morning. My name is Bob Gersh. I'm a reverse mortgage specialist at I Reverse Home Loans. And today I'd like to speak to you about appraisals, the process, the timing, and other related items to an appraisal. So let's go through the process. Uh, once you have signed your loan application and provided the loan officer with various other documents that have been requested, the loan officer submits that package to the processor. The processor reviews it and then submits part of those documents to the lender slash underwriting department that handles FHA case numbers. A case number is ordered. The case number is needed to process the rest of the loan, underwrite the rest of the loan, and is uh, also given to the appraisers because it needs to be on the appraisal. So once the case number is obtained, and if there's any issues with any of the documentation before that's done, then your loan officer will be back to you as a borrower and let you know and resolve any of those issues, gather any additional corrected documents or anything else needed, and we get the case number. Well, with the case number, the processor then orders through a management company. The management company is completely independent from uh, I-reverse home loans, completely independent from the lender, uh, from the borrower, from all parties. Uh, and that's done very specifically. It's required under rules and regulations of law uh, and the FHA guidelines. Uh, and the process basically allows complete independence of the management company and the appraiser from everybody. So the management company will uh, be given the order from the uh, processor to order an appraisal. Uh, the management company then takes over and is in touch with the borrower arranges with the borrower for payment. So payment is directly a transaction between the borrower and the management company. And at that point, the management company uh, seeks out uh, appraisers in the area uh, that are available to do the actual physical appraisal job. Once someone's been assigned that, then uh, between the management company and the appraiser, uh, they're back in touch with the borrower to schedule a appropriate time date uh, to see the interior of the house. So they do take pictures of the exterior, the interior, ask some questions, and uh, basically do an inspection of the property. Uh, and then at that point, once that's been done, then uh, the appraiser goes and writes up the actual physical appraisal report submits the appraisal report to their management company, and the management company does their reviews, and when it's all been approved, will submit it to the processor. The processor can then take the appraisal and with all the other documents, put together the package to submit to underwriting for the underwriters to then do their job. So this process can take you know any time from a few days to a few weeks, all depends on the process, how quickly documents get from one party to another, how, if there are any issues, uh, how quickly the management company can turn around the request, how quickly they can reach the borrower, how quickly the borrower can respond, how quickly payment is made, and how quickly uh, the scheduling is done. So depending on the availability of the appraisers, uh, sometimes they can do it almost instantly, sometimes it's a matter of a number of weeks. And the appraiser can take a week or so, depending on the complexity, to actually prepare the final appraiser. So all those issues come into bear. So at least you'll know what the process is and who the parties are when we're talking about ordering an appraisal as far as the process goes. Now, just to let you know, as a borrower, you have a right to a copy of that appraisal. Uh, the easiest way to do this is if you do have an email address uh, and can give that to the loan officer, the loan officer, when the appraisal is available, can electronically send you a copy. Uh, you can also, you're free to look at that appraisal and if uh, there are errors in the appraisal relating to, let's say, you know, the amount of bedrooms or baths or square footage, uh, obvious errors, we definitely want to know about that. and. Uh, we basically work through the system, through the processor to get back to the management company who gets back to the appraiser to review any issues and to make any corrections. Uh, but that's how the process works. 
And once we have that appraisal in hand, we have a value. And based on that value, we can look at it compared to what we estimated originally was the value at the time the application was taken. And if the number is pretty much in line, then we can proceed accordingly. If it's not in line, then we'll be in touch with the borrower to discuss what our options are as far as rerunning the numbers and see if it makes sense to go forward. Um, and if so, what the implications are of that value, either a higher value, which usually is good, or a lower value, which depending on what that number is, may or may not make sense to do a transaction, but would review that with you at that point in time. So that's how it works. And um, if you have any questions regarding the process of an appraisal or the timing, and again, you know, because there are a number of outside parties, the appraisal management company, uh, the actual appraiser, and uh, everything that's involved in that, which is out of independence, so it is unfortunately out of the hands and control of the loan officer or of iReverse Home Loans, uh, at least you'll know what that process is. And you know, we'll, we'll work with everybody to try to communicate the best we can what's going on at any given point in time. And hopefully we can make it a very uh, seamless and uh, uh, efficient process. But again, depending on if appraisers are very busy, it can backlog things uh, and the timing, and that's out of our control. Uh, and sometimes they're very quick in getting things done. So again, it depends on the individual appraiser, depends on a bunch of events, some which are in our control, some out of our control. But we'll do the best we can to communicate the process and to uh, have it done uh, as efficiently and effective as possible. Uh, so that's the story as far as how appraisal works and the parties that are involved and the process. And if you have any questions on that or anything else regarding reverse mortgage, feel free to give us a call and the number is 781-202-7475. Again, our phone number is 781-202-7475. And you can also go on to our website and ask questions through the website uh, or look at the information that's on the website, which includes information on appraisals and all kind of other reverse mortgage topics. And that uh, website is askbobgersh.com. Again, it's A-S-K-B-O-B-G-E-R-S-H dot com. So askbobgersh.com is the website. Look forward to uh, speaking to you. And uh, if you have any questions, please give us a call. Contact us by email or through our website. And we'll be happy to answer them at any point in time. Thank you and have a good day.